Okay, here's a tutorial on how to use UltraBeat uh, in Logic X. UltraBeat is the drum machine. It's uh, easy to program, and I'm going to just show you some of the basics here. So I've got an empty software instrument track. If you don't already have one of those, you create one by going here to this plus sign and say software instrument track. You can leave the rest of this as it is, and there's your software instrument. All right, I'll use that one. Okay, to load instruments in Logic, we use this instrument slot here. It says instrument. Left click once, you don't have to hold it down. These are all the synths, we'll look at these another time. And I wanted to go down here to Ultra Beat Drum Synth. Notice that there's two versions. We're just gonna talk about the stereo version today. Click, left click on the stereo and it opens Ultra Beat. So important to know on this, instrument is it too has a sequencer so just like logic has the sequencer here in the workspace ultrabeat also has a sequencer uh, that you program your drums in and you have to be real mindful uh, when you're using this that you turn on and then turn off the sequencer once you put your patterns into the workspace i'm going to just show you uh, what i mean by that now so i'm going to turn the sequencer on uh, a drum kit has been loaded. Uh, drum kits, uh, there's many of them, and if you want to cruise through the variety of drum kits, library window here, left click once, and then here are your drum kits, just left click, and they give them names. There's also individual drum sounds. These are for drum replacement, we'll talk about that another time. But drum kits, 808s, 909s, Deep House Kit, you name it. When you click on a kit, it loads those drums into these instrument slots here. So I'm gonna go Classic Hip Hop. That loads Classic Hip Hop. And I'm just left clicking. I can use the key, keys on my piano keyboard. So my low C is triggering the kick drum. So I could program drums uh, that way by using MIDI recording, uh, but we're gonna just talk about programming inside UltraBeat. Okay, so I've chosen a kit. I'm gonna just close this window now, just give us a little more screen. So here's the deal. There's already some built-in sequences in all of these drum kits, and they're here in this drop-down list. Left click. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up through 11 with an SQ to the right. That means that there's a sequence associated with that number. These that have no SQ are empty, and those are for you to build your own sequences. So, for example, this sequence looks like this. Now, I'm going to click on this full view button here in the lower right corner. And that gives me the full view mode. This is the grid mode. This is the mode that we use to just program our beats into UltraBeat just by clicking boxes. It's quite simple. This is the play button on the sequencer. And when I hit play, right? So it plays the beat. It's got a kick drum. It's got uh, this analog snare. On this lane, it's a gated snare, and here's my hi-hat. So all of this is uh, changeable. You can, you can add other beats to this pattern if you'd like. For example, I'm gonna just go up to, uh, oh, let's go to the scraper here, and I'm just gonna just click and put a scraper on beat one, beat five, Beat 9, beat 13, these are all quarter notes. 17, 21, 25, 29. Now when I play the sequence, you can hear the scraper part now. If I don't want the scraper part in there, I just uncheck the boxes and I'll try something else. Okay. Think of this as two bars of music. This 
as it's set up right now with 32 beats, and you can change that, but we're gonna leave it at the default. 32 beats, this is two measures or two bars of music. If you like this beat and you wanna use it in your song, you simply just take this little pattern icon here, left click and hold, and as it says, drag it to the arrange window. So I'm gonna hold on to it, drag it, and put it on my ultra beat track, and that shows up then as the MIDI elements. Now, this is where it's important to turn off your sequencer. Let me show you what I mean. If I hit my spacebar and trigger this MIDI, I'm gonna actually be playing and hearing two sounds at the same time, and I'll typically get a flang flanging effect, stuff, uh, you know, sounds that you don't want because you don't want two sounds hitting at once. Also, once the playhead passes this MIDI region, you're gonna keep hearing the beat because it's playing through the sequencer. Right, so that's not the effect I want. I want to make sure that once I drag a pattern here that I turn off the sequencer, and now this will simply play to the end of the region and it will stop. Okay, I can do all the usual things with this. I can option drag it down the timeline and copy it. I could open it up in the piano roll editor. And this is another way of looking at the beat. You can look at this pattern here. It looks very similar to this pattern, and that's uh, because it's really reflecting these MIDI elements. There's the hi-hat right there. There's the kick drum on C. All right. A couple more things. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go and talk about then creating your own beat. So I'm going to go into the sequences, go down to an empty sequence. This is the first one. And... Now I've got a clean slate. So remember, this is two bars of music. Think of each of these boxes as a 16th note. In other words, if I go to the closed hi-hat lane here, and if I just hold my left click mouse down and I swipe across like this, I'm making straight 16th notes. It sounds like this. If I put this sequence in the arrange window and look at it in the score editor, it's going to look like 16th notes. There we go. You just saw me open and close ultra beat. I close it using this X and you open it just by double clicking here. Quick, and it pops back open. So, here's my kick drum. So the quarter notes are one, five, nine, 13. You can see it on the grid here. One is a quarter note, five is a quarter note, Nine is a quarter note. 13 is a quarter note. That's one bar of music. 17, quarter note. Quarter, quarter, quarter. Looks like I accidentally made a note there. I'm just gonna click on it and make it go away. Okay, I wanna do an eighth note pattern now with the scraper. So that's gonna be every other box because these are my 16th notes. These are my quarter notes. Eighth notes are gonna be every other box. Now there's an easier way to do this. Watch this, I'm gonna right click, right click here, and you get a whole list of possibilities. And Logic will just kind of make a beat for you if you kind of know what you're looking for. Uh, add every downbeat, add a note every downbeat, add a note every upbeat, alter and exist random randomly. We, uh, it's pretty cool that you can just uh, let ultra beat and logic kind of create something for you. I'll just say add every upbeat. And then this is giving me just kind of a, a syncopated now eighth note feel. Turn off the sequencer and now I can hear my beat. There's some basics of 
instantiating UltraBeat using full view mode to program your beats just by ticking boxes. Remember, this is two bars of music, 32 beats. We'll talk about programming the synth here on another video, but this should get you going in terms of loading up an instrument, creating beats, dragging the pattern icon into the workspace, working with the sequences here, and creating your own. All right, more later.